Well, described as the living legend of New Zealand's wine, our country's most acclaimed wine writer, Michael Cooper, has 40 books and several major literary awards to his name. And he's been appointed an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit for his services to wine writing. He's here now to tell us all about the 25th edition of his annual New Zealand Wine Buyer's Guide. Welcome, Michael. Hi, Mel. I must say, first, first up, 25 years ago and today, Wow, this book has come quite some distance, hasn't it? Did you ever think you'd be doing this for 25 years? Um, uh, I would be lying if I said that I didn't imagine the possibility because there's so many wines out there and people are desperate for guidance. And when you consider the fact that the industry has just exploded over mm. the last 25 years, there is a need for books like this. What I probably didn't anticipate is, is as, as viewers can see, how we've gone from that skinny little book 25 years ago to this book, if you drop it on your foot, you know, you're in danger. You're going to break your toes. <laughs> I'm nothing a good wine count fix. <laughs> how many wines in here? Uh, about 3,000. And how many in this one? Uh, 800. Wow, so the industry's definitely growing. What do you think's changed in New Zealand over the years? Well, I well the, the, the industry's probably 10 times bigger now than what it was then. Um, so the number of wines has exploded, the number of producers has exploded, um, the wines have become better and better, um, but also the um, diversification of the industry. Mm -hmm. Know, where 25 years ago Chardonnay was really dominant and Sauvignon was really coming on the scene. Now, of course, Sauvignon dominates, but we've got this terrific backup selection of Chardonnays and Rieslings and we've Pinot Noirs. We've got so many good things, so oh, many good things. Yes. Um, have you tried all the wines in here? I have yes. indeed. Now, are Is you it write, starting to show? <laughs> you write bad reviews as well, don't you? Just I do, because yes. you don't only write about what you like, you write about anything. Have you yes. had any run-ins with the wineries? Uh, yes, I do from time to time. I remember one uh, night there was a, a rap on the door and I opened it and there was a slightly inebriated uh, winemaker who was really annoyed about uh, one of the reviews. So I you know, asked him in because I knew him personally and we sat down and chatted and within about five minutes he was apologising. Yeah, because you do it for the reader. That's mm. right. Exactly. Oh, yes. look, well, I tell you what, we're going to talk more about the book in just a minute and also we're going to do some wine tasting with the guru himself because it is such a minefield out there. This book is perfect for every single Kiwi. It's a must-have, particularly for wine lovers. OK, we are back with Michael Cooper. His 25th anniversary book is out, New Zealand Wines 2017. Let's get tasting. What do you look for in a wine? What have you got in front of us? Well, um, today we're going to look at two wines mm -hmm. um, and the idea was wines that are perhaps not super popular but but deserve to be right and certainly we've got with rosé it's it's really uh, becoming as popular as what it should be. You know why? Because you can do a frozen thing with it, a frosé. I've seen it on the internet, but anyway, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well road rosé used to be perceived, and rightly so, as being lolly water. You know, right. it was um, bland, it was dilute, it was sweet, it was really a nothing wine. Whereas internationally, it's it's a seriously good wine. In the South of France, they drink more rosé than, than they do white wine. Mm. So it's becoming popular here now. What do we need to look for in a rosé? Well, well, you really want, you obviously you want a nice sort of bright light it's pink yummy. colour. It should be fresh and lively, um, berryish flavours, and ideally fairly dry. Mm. It's quite a dark colour, I love that a lot. Right, let's Great. move on to this one. Hawke's Bay's hot red wine style is Syrah. A lot of viewers won't realise that Syrah is exactly the same grape variety that the Australians call Shiraz. Right. So we in New Zealand drink heaps of Syrah, but we don't know it because we think of it as being Shiraz. So as a result, this hot new style, winemakers love it, wine aficionados love it, but the, for, for viewers it can possibly be a wine but that's well worth discovering. Just trying to just confuse us is what they're trying to do. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, no, and this is the reason why every good wine lover needs to get your book, because I guess all of this is explained, you know? You work out what you're buying, what's value for money, but also what you really like. Well, so many people buy Pinot Noir, not realising that there are wine, red wines like this, a lovely, plummy, peppery flavours, mm -hmm. and because they're not trendy, they can mm. offer fantastic Hey, value. we're not about the trend right here. We're all about the taste. That's I think we've good. got a bit of research to be doing in your book. Michael, thank you so much for joining <laughs> yeah. us. Thanks, Mel. The <laughs> annual New Zealand Wines Michael Cooper's Buyer's Guide is now in its 25th edition, and it is out right now.